Okay. Okay. So once again, uh, good morning, students. So today uh, we will be discussing about edema. Do you know the meaning of edema? Anybody? Before starting, edema. What comes to your mind if I say edema? Yes, anybody? Ma'am, swelling or accumulation of fluid. Okay, swelling or accumulation of fluid. Okay. So this is edema. Listen. So uh, I'm showing you the sign. Right? I'm showing you the sign or symptoms of edema here. So what do you mean by edema? Edema it usually means swelling. Why? Because they are, uh, because of excessive fluid, na, in the body tissues. Your body tissues have been like uh, storing. So that's why uh, there used to be accumulation or swelling if there is accumulation of fluid then obviously what will be the outcome the outcome will be swelling or puffing out of uh, the extremities understand swelling uh, swelling or puffing out of the extremities so in which part will it affect mostly it will affect mostly in your uh, leg right in your legs feet and also it will uh, get affected in your hands your arms all right so in all this uh, in all this portion, uh, extremity, or, uh, I mean, in all this portion, swelling, okay, or else uh, accumulation of uh, fluids occur. And why does it usually occur? Uh, all this uh, accumulation of fluid, maybe because of heart, congestive heart failure, right? Or else uh, uh, kidney disease, or else cirrhosis of liver. We will study in the next slide. But uh, I'm just telling you all like uh, what can be the cause. So, so far is it clear everyone? What do you mean by edema? Yes? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, the, these are the signs and symptoms. And then these are the signs and symptoms you will find in the I mean, in edema people or else edema person. person. So, uh, what are the signs and symptoms that you will find? So, obviously, there will be swelling or else puffiness of the tissue, which you will find under the skin. Under the skin, you will find that there is puffiness, especially where, especially in your arms, in your arms and in your leg. Okay, so because of that, what will arise? There will be uh, your if there is something inside, I mean, something extra inside your body, what will happen? Obviously, they will stretch. Your skin will stretch. It's not it. So, uh, I mean, it will stretch and because of that, what will happen? Your skin, na, it will appear to be shiny. Why? Because it's stretching. Your skin is being stretched by the fluid, right? So, that's why your skin will appear it to be shiny. You know, shiny it chamak na. Understand? Tumhara jo skin hai, wo log, wo jo skin hai, wo chamkega. Kyu? Kyuki under mein pani bhara hua hai, or matlab tight ho gaya. Tumhara jo skin hai, chamra hai, tight ho gaya. To uske karan tumhara skin, tumhara jo chamra hai, wo chamkega. Okay? Okay. And the another symptoms that you will find is like uh, if you press supposedly say in my hands there in my hand there is a edema swelling of uh, my hand so if i will press in this manner so what will happen there will be pit a pit or else you can say a dimple you mean a pit it will go down it will go down understand uh, so if you will press for some time for several seconds like it will go down your skin will go down is it clear this portion everyone First, it's a swelling, uh, your, ha your hands or your arms will swell or else it will puff out. And the second thing is that uh, if there is excessive accumulation of water inside your inside the skin, under the skin, so what will happen? All the fluid, right, it will uh, 
if your skin will stretch and after that stretch what will happen and your skin it will appear to be shiny and the third is that if you press if you press the affected area means the uh, edema portion so if you press for a longer period of time what will happen uh, it will go down your skin will go down just like a pit 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 in the sense so uh, if you will leave for a few seconds a few minutes uh, again it will come up obviously but still when you will press what will happen it will go down okay so far everyone is clear to here Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, so, uh, and the another sign and symptoms that you will find edema is a foamy urine. Do you know the meaning of foamy? F O A M Y foamy. Foamy means uh, what to say, like uh, in soap and all, like the bubble, the bubbly, you know, the bubbles, some bubbles will be formed. You know my bubbles, B U double B L E bubbles. Mm. Yes, foamy. It means that. So foamy urine. Your urine it will become foamy. Then the person will have a uh, uh, weight gain also. And also and fatigue means tired, feeling tired very soon. Okay. Next is anorexia. Anorexia means loss of appetite. Means the person won't feel uh, like having anything. Actually, this one it occurs in nephrotic syndrome. All these sign and symptoms it occurs in nephrotic syndrome, but edema, uh, edema also occurs here. So that's why like uh, it's a bit like what to say. It's a bit similar. So that's why I'm even showing you this the signs of. Nephrotic syndrome. In edema also, sometimes nephrotic syndrome also occurs. Understand? So that's why I'm showing it to you. Uh, the signs and symptoms of some parts. Okay. Is it clear this portion, everyone? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. So another. Um, so. Okay, so we are done with the sign and symptoms. So uh, let's talk about the cause. I mean, uh, the cause of what? Like this um, edema occurs. Okay, means uh, why? What is the reason? What is the reason behind this edema? Okay, first can be trauma. Trauma means what? Uh, if a person is having any accident, okay, some yes, any accident and all that. So at the time, the person can have this um, edema. Okay, next is arthritis. So this arthritis also it's somewhat similar. I mean, uh, if there is any injury and all that, it's the same thing. So uh, next is uh, varicose vein. So in the varicose vein, what will you find in the varicose vein? Uh, you will find that there is a blockage or else weakness of the vein. So at that time, you can find this uh, varicose uh, edema because of the varicose vein. Next is a DVT, that is deep vein thrombosis. If there is any blood clot, alright. If there is any blood clot uh, in the extremities, so at that time the person can have this uh, edema. Next is infection, maybe because of some infection, alright. So at that time the person can have edema. Uh, next is pregnancy. Uh, if um, a woman or a lady is pregnant, so at that time there will be accumulation of fluid. And some some other conditions like what heart. Okay, we will discuss later about this heart, liver, and all in the next slide. And uh, maybe because of some medication that is uh, NSAID, that is non-steroid uh, and inflammatory drugs. Na? So in all this uh, medicine, uh, like you can get this edema. Okay, all this portion. Same thing from uh, arthritis, uh, infection, medication, pregnancy. I'm showing it to you again. So this can be the cause of edema. Okay. So next is same thing. The cause next is liver. So in your liver portion also, like uh, if the liver, na, 
uh, if you have uh, cirrhosis of liver, I mean fatty liver, so at that time also the person can have uh, this uh, this one edema. So if the person is having like a cirrhosis of liver, uh, if the person is like having unhealthy liver, uh, unhealthy liver, right? So at that time also the person can have uh, abdominal means the abdominal portion, no? Like there will be lots of accumulation of fluid in the, uh, in the abdominal part portion that is in this portion, and also uh, in not only in the abdominal uh, abdominal wall or abdominal cavity there will be accumulation of fluid in her lack portion also. Okay, is it clear? Uh, before going to the uh, this portion, like uh, let me ask you, what is the function of liver? Can anybody say? Can anybody say? Mercy, can you tell me? Ma'am, uh, secretion of bile juice which helps in digestion of food. And also what? Metabolism, no? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So, uh, okay, good. Okay, so in cirrhosis of liver, what will you find? You will find that the liver, no? Uh, they won't be able to metabolize anymore because there are lots of uh, fatty I and mean, fats are there. So that's why what will happen as a result it will lead to abdominal uh, I mean, increasing of abdominal cavity. There will be accumulation of fluid. Understand? And not only that, you will find that there is accumulation of fluid in the lap in the lap portion also. So this this will lead to edema. So this is cirrhosis. Okay, another thing you will find, um, what can be the cause of another, what can be the another cause for this edema? Another cause can be kidney disease. Okay, in the kidney disease, what will you find? Nephrotic syndrome. So, in the nephrotic syndrome, uh, what will you find? As uh, there is extra fluid. And I said, in nephrotic syndrome, what will, what will you find? There is extra fluid and sodium. Listen, uh, so that's why you will find that. And in the nephrotic syndrome, you will find that edema usually occurs in the in the lap portion as well as the eyes. In the picture, I have shown you know, swollen. It needs to be swollen in the eyes in this portion. Not only in the lap, also as well as in the eyes portion. So this is another cause. First is kidney, or oh, sorry, liver. Okay, cirrhosis of liver. The another uh, the another one is you will find in kidney. In the kidney, what is the abnormality that you will find? Mm, because of excessive sodium, right? And also extra fluid. So, what will occur? There will be puffing up of the eyes as well as uh, mm, you will find in your lap portion. So, that is nephrotic syndrome. Okay, is it clear? Still clear? Is it clear or not? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, next. Uh, varicose vein and all that. I have already discussed DVT, you know, because of um, uh, blood clot and all that. So, another is heart. So, another cause can be the heart condition. So, what will happen in the heart? Uh, if a person is having like congestive heart failure, right? So what will happen in your heart? Uh, you have got four chambers, right? You have got four chambers. The first one is uh, uh, what? In the upper portion, what is there? Atrium, right? Atrium, then ventricle. It's not it. Yes, everyone. Atrium, ventricle. Do you remember? Yes or no? What happened? You all forgot? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Okay, so in the upper portion, atrium. In the lower portion, there is ventricle. 
okay so what will happen in in the heart in the heart you will find the lower chambers so in the lower chambers what will you find ventricle right so uh, the lower uh, the lower chamber what will you will find they will lose the ability to pump out the blood normally okay they will they will lose the ability or they will lose the power like to pump out the blood like normally so okay so and as a result what will you find as a result the, the blood obviously it can't go back and it can't go up and as a result and as a result what will you find you will find that um, uh, it will it will affect it will affect in your leg in your ankle portion in your feet and uh, ultimately you will find that uh, because of that blockage because of that blockage you will find that there will be swelling in your legs ankles feet portion and sometimes uh, and sometimes it can i mean there will be accumulation of fluid accumulation of fluid sometimes in your lung portion also in the sense so same thing that uh, pe right pulmonary embolism so it will lead to that it is all it's almost a similar understand uh, let me repeat again the another cause that you will find uh, for this edema is that the heart so in the heart what will happen you have got four chambers right right atrium right atrium left atrium uh, right ventricle left ventricle so in the ventricular portion means in the downside portion of the heart what will you find they will lose the ability to pump out the blood effectively to pump out the blood uh, normally in a normal manner so um, what will you find you will find that as there is blockage since there is blockage uh, in that portion it won't be able to go so where where it will accumulate all those all those blockage portion it will accumulate it will go and accumulate in your lap and listen in your lap uh, ankles feet and ultimately what will you find you will find that it will affect uh, in your lung portion also so as a result so as a result the, uh, the person will find difficulty in breathing chest pain and all those so same thing it's it's uh, it's it's somewhat similar to the pulmonary embolism pe which we have discussed in the previous class right so it's that one okay is it clear this portion is it clear till here okay and sometimes what will happen if uh, if a person is having a severe protein deficiency right severe long term protein deficiency so at that time also the person can have uh, this accumulation of food and the another reason um, can be because of some medication because of some medication if a person is consuming some uh, medicine or else some medication as so at that time also the person can have edema understand so first uh, medicine what will you find what can be the cause of edema the, so the first medicine is high blood pressure medication so if a person consumes like uh, for high blood pressure medication right so at that time the person can have edema if a person consumes this high blood pressure medication what will happen if the higher the dose uh, for bp what will happen they will have like swelling in the legs okay so they will have swelling in the legs and this high blood pressure medications are usually like uh, to prevent to prevent the heart disease the person or the people they usually used to have this high blood pressure medication because uh, in order to prevent heart disease but if an edemic patient if uh, the person is having edema if they will have this what will happen the higher the dose the higher the dose uh, the more like it will be risky for the person to have swelling in both uh, in both the sides of the legs understand 
अगर एक इंसान हाई ब्लड प्रेशर मेडिसिन खाने से उसको क्या नुकसान हो सकता है मतलब उसका डोज ज्यादा होने से उसका रिक्स बढ़ जाएगा ठीक है उसका रिक्स बढ़ जाएगा और आ, क्या होगा मतलब जब वो खाने से ये हाई ब्लड प्रेशर मेडिसिन अगर वो खाने से क्या होगा उसका पाव वो सब फूल जाएगा ठीक है रिस्क रिस्क है चांसेस है तो इसके वजह से नहीं खाना चाहिए so this um ansets mostly uh, what it is used for what for for treating pain if a person is uh, having pain and all that na if a person is having pain and all that then the person needs to have this non steroid inflammatory uh, anti inflammatory drugs okay uh, like a uh, diclofenac and all that okay so if a person is having um, this non steroid anti inflammatory drug what will happen Uh, increase in sodium okay increase in sodium as well as reabsorption will occur there is an increase in sodium as well as reabsorption will occur so as a result uh, the person will be at the risk of having edema understand so that's why the person should not have this uh, and say okay next is steroid drugs third one steroid drugs Okay, so this steroid drugs. If a person, uh, this steroid, mostly it is used for what? It is used for gaining the muscle strength. Steroid drug. It is used. Uh, it is used by the person to have some muscle strength. But in edema, like if you will have this, what will happen? They will cause some irregularities. Irregularities like uh, where, like in sodium, potassium. Oh, sorry, potassium, calcium phosphate, and uh, if the person will have this, it will lead to high BP. Listen, it will lead to high BP, and also the heartbeat it won't be regular. It will be irregular, and it will lead to edema. So the person should not have this steroid drugs. Understand? Are you clear about this three point? high blood pressure medication uh, and sets steroid drugs is it clear clear or not yes ma'am okay. okay i'll explain again Okay, first is high blood pressure medication. So, if a person will have uh, edema, like the person should not have this high blood pressure medication. Why? Because uh, in high blood pressure medication, what will happen? Higher the dose, right? Higher the dose of that uh, medicine means the person will have the chance. The person will have the chance uh, of. In what in swelling the leg, in swe uh, sw swelling of the extremities. Understand? So that's why the person should not have this high blood pressure medication while having this edema. Is it clear? Means uh, these are the side effects. Means in some medication you will, you will see some side effects. Is it clear? clear or not first one high blood pressure medication means if a person will have this high blood pressure medication what will have there will be a chance means the higher the dose there will be a chance uh, in swelling of like the extremities like the hands legs all right these are the side effects of this high blood pressure medication so that's why the person should not have this kind of drugs or else this kind of medicine while having edema okay okay next is uh, nsaids that is non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs it is also known as nsaids right n s a i d s that is the short form okay 
Okay, in the non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs, such as the NSAIDs, what will you find? Why the person? I mean, what is the uh, what is the side effect of this drug? What is the side effect of this medicine? The side effect is that it will increase it will increase the level of sodium. It will increase the level of uh, sodium reabsorption, which will lead to uh, edema. And uh, if sodium and edema like it will, it will collide each other, what will happen? It will be connect with each other. What will happen? There will be uh, a weight gain. The person weight will gain. Understand? So that's why the person should not have this and say drugs while having edema because uh, this is the side effect of having non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs. Understand? Second point. Okay. Okay. Next is steroid drugs. Steroid drugs mostly. Why they used to have the steroid drugs so that they will gain the muscle strength. But uh, you can see some side effect also because in steroid drug, if a person have steroid drug during this edema, what will happen? They will cause some irregularities. There will be some irregular irregularities where in the potassium level, listen in potassium level calcium and some phosphate levels and uh, this will ultimately lead to what this will ultimately lead to high blood pressure okay this will ultimately lead to high blood pressure sometimes the heart beat also it will be irregular so that's why uh, this is a side effect so that's why a person should not have this steroid drugs is it clear all the three points some more points are there here it's clear yes okay okay next is estrogens okay next is estrogen so from the name is of estrogen what comes to your mind it is the name of what yes anybody estrogen it's not new to you all, this estrogen name. Anybody? Anybody? It is what? Mm, hormones. Yes, it is a hormone. Okay, good. Okay, so, uh, if, you, if a person will have this estrogen, uh, this estrogen, what does it do? Mostly, it will help in stimulating the growth of like uh, egg follicle and all that. Okay, so the function, I'm just telling you the function of this estrogen medic uh, medicine. Okay, in this estrogen, if a person has estro uh, will have this medication or as medicine, there will be increase of estrogen and decrease of progesterone. Listen, there will be increase of estrogen and there will be decrease in progesterone. So obviously it will, I mean, it's not like working coordinately, right? So as a result, what will you find? You will find that there will be water retention. Means the water, uh, it, it will want to gain more and more water. Listen, it will like uh, gain more and more water if a person have this estrogen. Ultimately, this will lead to what? This will lead to? Like increase or else puffing up, puffing up the uh, the fluid in the extremities. So that's why the person should not have this estrogen. Means this is a side effect. If a person will have this estrogen, there will be increase of estrogen and there will be decrease of progesterone. Progesterone is also the name of the hormone. In the sense, so uh, if they will have this, what will happen? Uh, they will. Uh, this will lead to increase. Uh, understand that this will lead to increase and puffing up of the like uh, the some some parts of the extremities. So that's why the person should not have this estrogen while having edema. Is it clear? Okay. Yes. Next. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Okay. Next is certain diabetes medications which are known as 
uh, higher zone lights. Okay, so this one. Okay, if a person have this medicine, what is the side effect that, that uh, you will see? There will be increase in fat, uh, I mean fat mass, and also you will find fluid retention. Fluid retention means uh, wanting more water. Okay, and ultimately this will lead to uh, weight gain. So that's why uh, the person should not have this medicine. Okay, the last one is calcium channel blockers, CCBS. It is also known as CCBS, calcium channel blockers. Okay, so if a person has this medicine, so what is the side effect that you will see? You will see that there is increase. There, uh, there will be increase in capillary pressure. Blood capillaries, right? You have blood. I mean, capillaries are there inside your body. You see, they have blood capillaries. There will be leakage. Means in the capillaries, you will find that there is leakage. Understand? There will be leakage in that. So that's why, uh, if there is leakage, obviously it will lead to accumulation of a fluid. So that's why uh, the person should not have this uh, calcium channel blockers. And calcium channel blockers, they usually used to have if the person is having uh, high, uh, I mean low BP. Low BP patient usually have this. Okay. okay, is it clear? Estrogen. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, do you want me to stop here? Means the other portion I'll send you, I'll explain to you in the next class. Will that be okay? Because if I will say so many things, you might forget also, no? Okay. Okay.